however you want to describe it this is most certainly a big game for Leeds United third v second and Leeds with the opportunity to close the gap between themselves and Ipswich Town Ipswich having made a sensational return to life at this level but Leeds are one of only two teams who have beaten Ipswich so far in the league if they could do the double here today that will be the perfect pre-Christmas present for Leeds United supporters team news is straightforward it's the same starting 11 as for the Coventry game last weekend Curls a nice looking ball in Piru and it's nodded in from close range by Pascal Strauch Piru with the first header saved by the keeper Strauch could not miss Strauch did not miss Leeds United 1 Ipswich 0 fantastic finally from a set piece a centre half scores quality delivery in from Crescencio Somerville delivery has been good but can we get someone on the end of it well we can Peru is the man, you can see he gets up high, good save by the keeper, but the reaction of a striker, not a centre-half, a Strout, runs in and just tucks it home, follows in, anything that comes off the keeper, and we get our noses in front. Oh, mix up between him and Rodon, and Gray has to come in to rescue the situation, which um, he does rather well, to say the least. Then James wins out. Oh, he's done excellently there, Dan James, to ride two challenges. Now Jorginho, now Kamara sweeps it left to Somerville. Somerville's got runners through the middle. Somerville goes it himself into the penalty area. He's still going Somerville into the middle, and it's an own goal! Somerville with the ball across the middle hit the defender and in he went and Leeds United now find themselves two in front here at Ellen Road against Ipswich Town brilliant, absolutely brilliant and it's unfortunate Leif Davis our ex-player who steers it in on this occasion the wrong net but wonderful play all started with a jittery pass out from Melier but from there, Archie Gray did fantastically well in the right-back position. Dan James fought ever so hard. Great hold-up play from Jorginho, and after that, we'll wrap them. And this is where I talk about the high press. You can bypass it, here comes the space. Peru wanted it there, but Somerville, see you later twice. Get it across, ask questions. And the poor defender, Leif Davis, didn't know. Sticks out a leg, it was missed by the centre-half and we get our bit of luck. You know what, Brent? A scrappy goal. We'll take that. We're two ahead. Leif Davis with a cross for Ipswich now. Out it comes to the edge of the area. Oh, the shot hits the outside of the post. Chaplin with that, an absolute... Rocket flying towards Melier's goal. He was beaten, but the ball hit the post. That's all about confidence. That's one touch, and let's hit it on the half volley, 25 yards out. What a raking strike. And just the outside of the post. Oh, he's just going slightly wide, but that would have woken us up. It's going to be another long throw from Leif Davis down below us here. Into the box it goes. Heads up into the middle. Spence will clear this one with a half volley. Now, who can get under this? Can Leeds launch a counter-attack here? Jorginho holding off Morsi to very good effect. Plays it into the path of James. James onto Somerville. Somerville goes down. Penalty. Penalty Leeds must be. It is. Brilliant counter-attacking football from Leeds United. And as Somerville tumbles, the referee points to the spot. Wonderful. Exactly as we thought with Ipswich pushing forward. We will get spaces. We will get time to counter-attack and we do it ever so well initially Jorginho with some fantastic work Somerville with just a touch it's a penalty simple as that Leif Davis is complaining but you've got to play the ball did he touch the ball no he didn't Somerville's trying to get there at least he's brought down penalty all day long makes the little run and drives the ball into the top of the net Super penalty from Somerville and Leeds United are in dreamland here at Ellen Road. 
It's now Leeds 3, Ipswich 0. Wow. Super penalty. Incredible penalty. My goodness, no one's stopping that one. He's confident. What a season Vicencio Somerville is having. He's had a hand in all the goals as well. Leif Davis still complaining, no idea why, but no one's stopping this one. Boom. Get in. Top corner with plenty of pace and power. And 3-0. Well, I'm not sure, Bryn, this first half could have gone any better. Brilliant. In it goes to Jorginho. Lovely roll of the shoulder. Now he's played the ball into Piru. Piru is in the penalty area. Piru looking towards goal. Shoots! It's the underside of the bar. And it's hands to the heads of the Leeds players. That was... So, so close to a fourth goal. Wow, what a fantastic effort from Peru. Once Jorginho gets at the strength, once again to hold his man off. The ball is superb. And Peru, can he get it onto his favoured left? Well, you know what? It doesn't matter, because that right's pretty good as well. Fires it onto the crossbar. Not quite underneath, but brilliant effort. Across the midfield to Burgess. Drop short, intercepted by Gray. Gets the return pass from... James, Archie Gray, can he pick the right ball out here? Piru, through the middle, goes under his feet, and he's missed control, but Jorginho gets in anyway. Jorginho, out to this near side, Piru, in the penalty area! Yes! Oh, that's a wonderful goal from Piru! Terrific close control, and then he fires the ball beyond the dive of the keeper and into the back of the net. Well, there's real ecstasy behind that goal now, because it's Leeds United 4, Ipswich 0. Fantastic goal. Wonderful, wonderful footwork from Joel Piru. I'm delighted for him as well because the last couple of games been a little quiet, but this is what he can do. Timing of the runs and when he gets into those positions, can you keep your composure, keep a cool head, and then show your quality? Well, he certainly can. Archie Gray started it all by just nipping in front. Great interception. A little fortunate here with the pass going through the legs of the opponent. Jorginho somehow gets on the ball, but after that, look at that, one touch, two, three, four. See you later, great strike, a brilliant goal. Well, that's Dan James, last involvement in any way for Leeds. He's walking towards a near-side touchline, as uh, we predicted. And so Nonto will come on to replace Dan James. Pascal Strout. Still going, Strout. No ball through for Jorginho. Panzeve tight to his back. Oh, <laughs> wonderful play from Jorginho. Brilliant. Got Spence going just outside the penalty area. Spence with the step over. Tucks it into the middle. Somerville, Jorginho! off the crossbar what a goal that would have been oh, it's so one in the score it's a deflection deflection off the defender just takes it up unfortunately that little touch off the defender takes it up and over the keeper keeper's actually going to his left and there you can see the touch from Luongo takes it over for a corner kick and Padu inevitably wins the ball for Leeds in midfield and the referee Brings an end to proceedings here. What a win for Leeds United. It was third v second. It's still third v second, but the gap has been closed. And this could be a significant day's football in Leeds' championship season because they've blown Ipswich away here. The side that had only previously lost two games, one of those two Leeds United, have been well, well beaten. Leeds were three up by half-time. Added one more in the second half and had complete control of the game thereafter. So, this season, anything could yet happen. We reach the midpoint and Leeds have recorded their best win so far. It's finished here. Leeds United 4, Ipswich Town 0. Well, it's a wonderful, complete performance and I'm sure we all went to bed last night. We're dreaming about what could happen today. Well, this is it. Dreams do come true. I thought they played exceptionally well. I thought going forward, we looked dangerous all the time. We showed that quality. Ipswich came at us. Well, that helped us as well because the game opened up and we got them on the counter a couple of times with some really good goals. 
were thoroughly professional, kept the ball in the second half, kept that intensity up. And we have asked questions of Ipswich. How they will respond, let's find out. But what is most important, we keep doing what we do, keep winning football matches. But this one was pretty special.